Okay, now we're going to wrap our little jar. And as you can see on this sample, the top edge has a nice little finished pinked edge, and that adds a lot of charm to this. So we're going to do that with this wax paper. I folded over my wax paper, but I haven't greased it. I'm just matching these edges so that I can give it a quick pink. You only have to do it to the one, the, the edges that were the ones that, um, that cut off the roll. You don't have to do it on all sides because the other sides are going to be hidden when we wrap the jar. You'll see what I mean. The trick to this, we're going to have a little piece of wire at the ready, is to uh, wrap this up so that you don't have any big gaping holes. And the easiest way to do that is to bring up the short sides first. And then we're going to pleat it all the way around. A little bit on the front and the back. And then pinching it at the top. I'm going to turn this, whoops, turn this around. This stuff is slick and it, there's not, it's not very forgiving material, so you can't just gather it all up in a wad. You have to actually pleat it so that it folds nicely. That's so nice. Perfect. Nice and neat. And now we'll take a piece of wire. You can't use, um, you can't use tape or staples or glue on wax paper. It just, the slick surface just doesn't allow you to do that. And you know, a little bit of ribbon can actually, if you tie ribbon in it, sometimes the ribbon can tear the wax paper. You can experiment with it. Uh, my friend Susan sometimes uses a little bit of, of um, a rubber band when she's wrapping something with this technique and then ties the ribbon over the rubber band with wax paper. I'm thinking wire is the best way to go. Oh, darling. Uh, next, we're going to add some ribbon and make those darling little strawberries.